First up, we're gonna talk to Nina and her son, Ryan. Are you guys there? I think they're both on Zoom. Hi, Rachel. Hi, guys. Hi, Greta. Hi, Hi guys. Look at you two. What, what good looking folks. So what, what's, what's the problem, guys? Nina, tell us about your outfit. I think you look lovely. I think I look lovely too. Thank you, Rachel, for recognizing that. I've had this jacket for a long time. I think it looks fabulous. It's corduroy. It's in season. The best is the best. And I love my little bow thingy here. I think I look fabulous, especially because we're going through all of this thing together. It's a really nice time to bring back some fashion, right? And Ryan, you don't like the way she's dressed? Are, are you not grooving on that look? Here's the deal, Nina, I love how you approach fashion. You approach it like a boss. I love each and every one of these pieces. I just don't love them together. So Ryan, I'm hearing you, okay? I think the deal here is, is that when we put on pieces together, we do a couple of things. Number one, too many pieces. We overwhelm the look. So even though you have an amazing eye for fashion, even though you've chosen or you've saved and cared for these pieces so beautifully, and each one of them is amazing, when you put them on together, what you get is a bl bulky, blurry vibe. And that's not what we want because you are stunning. Oh, I'm getting a lot of good nods out of Ryan. <laughs> But I got to tell you, right, she's got amazing taste. She's got amazing taste. I do love them. So here's the, here's the rule. The rule is one hero piece at a time. Today, you have three on. You have three amazing standout pieces. So I'm going to back you up a little bit. And I'm actually going to ask you to take off the jacket and the vest so I can prove my point because we can't see anything. Let's take a look at this gorgeous ask this blouse, as Rachel said, with this really cool Ascotty tie. Let's see how it rocks on its own for a minute. Okay, I can do I'm that. I'm not gonna lie, even EVOO can fix this. Oh, that's my guy! Rise my guy! <laughs> oh, we so love awkward. you. <laughs> you have a charming one there. I have two boys and he's got enough charm for everybody. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so here's to prove the point, Rach. See, now I see the fabric. Now I see her beautiful skin tone even more. I mean, she's stunning. So I see the details of the blouse. I, I didn't even know it would be like this fancy. Now that said, this is the hero piece here. Go ahead, put the jacket on. And the reason why is corduroy is casual. It creates a great contrast with that. It's, is it silk or satin, Nina? Yeah. So I love a dressed up fabrication next to something vintage or, you know, something that has a little bit more of a, of a like masculine vibe to it. Love that. See now that there's no bulk, guys, there's no bulkiness. And I think to give, I got to give Ryan a nod on his style. Like, I think he just wanted you to take it back a little bit. <laughs> I got to tell you about the vest because sure. I don't want you to think I don't like the vest because you love vests. And this is my last thing. I saved the vest for last. I tried to do that for Rachel because she's always oh my gosh. three steps ahead of us on the clever. Okay. <laughs> Save the vest for last. So here's what I want you to do with the vest. We love the vest, Nina. And I want to give you kudos for choosing an amazing piece because vests, in my opinion, are one of the most underutilized cool accessories in a woman's wardrobe. They bring a lot of power and they bring a lot of cool. What I'm gonna ask you to do though, is I'm gonna ask you to step away. You and Ryan head out. I need you to look for three different things. You can do a t-shirt, tank top, or a turtleneck. You can either do it, you know, buttoned up all the way, loose, add a little scarf detail. Just let's take your vest and give it a moment on its own and let's see what we all think.